Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see by the description below, I'm doing a C for boy. Yo. So, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, comment, share with all your friends. Because it's a girl pretty in pink and we is back with another video for you. So while I'm doing the seafood boy, you, I'm actually going to be talking to you guys and telling you how I got fired from my new job. Well, not my new job, but the new job to you that you know of. So I'm going to let you guys know how I got fired and how everything happened. I actually took the shades off because it was actually bothering me. But let's get right into this see for boy. So I'm gonna dig in before I talk to you guys. So I actually made this butter sauce. Oh, I don't think you guys can see it. But I actually made some butter sauce. I really don't know how it tastes because I just mixed some stuff in together. Cause I was trying, you know, I never made a super boy before. This is my first time. So just bear with me, please. But let's get right into the story. Oh, this is hot. Let's get right into the story and tell you what happened. So, let me just tell you, at the job, I just felt like they was watching me for like two weeks. I don't know what it was, but I just felt like they was watching me and shit. So, like, two weeks ago, um... My manager had came up to me and told me like oh i don't mind you wearing your headphones but just put your headphones down so you know i'm at work so i only play some reggae music or something like i'm not gonna play some ratchet music at work so they um emailed me like a week later and said that for me not to wear my headphones because i was being disruptive don't know how I was being disruptive because I was only wearing one ear period, one ear piece. So I didn't understand that. Mm. Came on good. So I didn't understand what they said about that. But they sent me the phone policy and highlighted the earphone part. So they got me tight with that. But anyway. Let me do a quick thumbnail. Okay. So, they sent me the email. And I was like, okay. So, this is why they've been coming by the desk so often. So, my desk is like at the end of the office. Like, kind of by like the back. So, nobody really passes my desk often. Unless... Um, they come in to count the chairs because since the COVID-19, they separated the chairs, but there was opening a new phase, so they were going to allow more people to come back. So, since they were allowing more people to come back, they was counting the chairs to let more people come back. But, like I was saying, so they kept coming by my desk asking me how I'm doing or like oh you okay do you need help and stuff so for one I already did not understand what I was doing because during the COVID they actually switched me to a new department and when they changed me they showed me everything from online like I'm more of a hands-on person I don't know about y'all, but I can't learn everything from the computer. And then when we went back to work, they only gave us one day of training. So I felt like they was only showing us how to do a certain amount of accounts when we was receiving at least 30 accounts a day. So I didn't understand that at all. How? Then also... During the COVID, 
I actually, um, me and this other girl that was at the job with me, we both was transferred at the same time to the new department. And we were um, helping each other. So one day we was asking them questions because meanwhile we know we don't know what we're doing so we need to ask questions they're gonna say that we were asking too much questions and they can't guide us through the whole account one we was new and we didn't even know what we was doing so now you just make me don't want to ask no questions no more. Like, now nah, I'm going to try to figure out myself. Because y'all be a mass naughty. And they don't want to help me. So after that, I never ask them for help again. Anytime I need help, I will go to either um, the person next to me or somebody that's sitting by me. Or I'll ask um, my friend that we moved to the same department together at the same time. So... I felt like they was watching me for two weeks and it just felt mad funny to me because they never passed my desk and now they want to suddenly start passing my desk all the time. So I was really like, you know, keep my eye out. You know, you always got to be on point. So they, was, they kept passing by my desk. It was a uh, Thursday. They kept passing by my desk. The manager... One of my managers, her name was Angela, she came. She passed by my desk, asked me if I was okay. I said, yeah. Then, my other manager, Tijanae, she came by my desk, asking me if I'm okay, which I was like, all right, this is the second time now, it's getting weird. I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Like, what's going on? So, they called the managers into the, um, the big boys, he called the managers, into the office on the loudspeaker and it was like for all of the um the managers from my department to go to his office so right there i already knew it was funny then um we had what me and this other girl my friend we had ordered some food. We got some pizza. Meanwhile, I was mad excited to try this pizza because it was the first time I was trying it. And I was having a good day, you know, I was I was okay. I felt like I was doing better at the job, you know. I was starting to do more accounts often daily. So I felt like, you know, I was progressing. So later on that day, they gonna um, call me on the phone. So I'm thinking it's my food because, you know, it's the front desk. And the front desk always calls me when my food is at the front. So she's like, can you come to the front desk, please? So I go to the front desk because I'm thinking it's about my food. And she's like, oh, the big boss wants you in his office. I'm like, oh, that's weird. Okay. So I went to his office. He like, can you close the door, please? I already know it was something serious after you say something like that. So I was like, okay. So I went, um, closed the door. And he was already looking at me funny, like. <clears throat> and the other man, the other lady, she was from the HR department. She was sitting mad quietly in the corner and he came out and he was like um do you know why you're here i'm like no he like so after six months of you working here we do a progress report on everyone and me and your managers feel like you're not progressing in the way we expect you to be in your department at your level So for one, I already was like, what? How am I progressing if you changed me to a whole new department and only gave me one training in person? Like, how am I supposed to know exactly what I'm doing with every account? You showing me how to do one account and only one account. 
and not every account is the same I guess some is repetitive but not all of them is the same so I was already upset about that then um he was like so we feel like we need to let you go so I told him I'm like honestly I feel like if you would have kept me in my last apartment where I was having great numbers I would have kept on progressing in the way that y'all expected me to but y'all moved me to a new department during the COVID and expected me to learn everything through the computer and I don't know how y'all expect me to progress that way so if y'all feel like I was I don't know how y'all expect me to progress in any way and he was like so we gonna have to let you go and you can leave now and we're gonna pay you for the rest of the day so i was already pissed off like meanwhile meanwhile this is the week of my birthday the week of my birthday the week of my vacation i was about to take off they knew i was taking off for my birthday so i feel like that's why they did it on thursday because i knew i wasn't coming back till monday like i was leaving from friday and i was leaving monday uh i was coming back monday and i feel like that's why they did it on thursday but it got me tight because i felt like i was really doing good at that job like i like that job but you know god always got better plans for you so let me tell you what happened so, as you all know, I lost my, well, not I lost my job. I quit my job a couple months ago. I thought, finally, I'll last at a job, you know. But that didn't work out. Not as I thought it would. But God always got better plans for you. And... I actually was like, great, let me just enjoy my birthday and I'll figure everything else out later. So, my boyfriend took me to a surprise weekend, which was so fun in Jersey. We had so much fun. And... I was so thankful for that. I really appreciated it. It was so beautiful. Nobody ever did that for me before, so it was so nice. So, when we came back on um, day, I was actually applying to jobs. As soon as I um, got fired that Thursday, I came home. I let him know he was just like oh you was already stressed at the job because you felt like you already know what you was doing so i feel like it's good like better opportunity she will come for you and stuff and i felt like it was true because i was stressing at the job a lot because i felt like i didn't know what i was doing and you know when you work at an office for so long well if you don't know but I worked at an office for five years, so if I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, it's just like, what am I doing here, you know? So, I felt like it was God letting me know it was time, my time to move on. So, I was applying to jobs when I came home that Thursday, and, um, on Monday when I came back but when we came back I actually found out that well the job actually called me and was like can I come in for an interview it was for a front desk position so I was like okay I'll come in um which day you need me to come in they was like I'm coming on Tuesday so I was like okay 
um so they told me to come on tuesday i came in for the interview it was for front desk but they saw my resume that i was doing billing and she was like we also need a biller as well like do you want to do billing instead of front desk i was like yes of course it's something that i was doing for a long time now so i felt like i already knew what i was doing so i was doing billing at the last job rtr but um i was doing physician billing and hospital billing two different things if you don't know but um this job is just um physician billing for just a uh, optician which is the eye doctor so i was like sure i'll take i'll do this position instead so when i went um i met with the billing manager that day and she asked me to come in the next day and I got the job. So you all know I get jobs really quickly, but I just had to let you guys know what happened in my life. Keep you updated and posted, you know? But I had a great birthday. I turned 23, my Jordan year. This is my year. Let me let you guys know. This is my year. And if you haven't already, go purchase your pretty in pink gloss. I actually came out with a limited edition um, birthday cake gloss. It's birthday cake flavor. It's clear gloss with um, colorful butterflies. The butterflies do not come out of the bottle. But um, yes, it's clear with colorful butterflies. Um, it's birthday cake flavor. So make sure you guys check it out. I will put the link down below for you guys. And I actually came out with a summer collection. The summer collection has a lavender gloss, which is mango flavor, which is called Pretty Precious. I actually think I showed you guys this in my last video. But I have a couple glosses, a body scrub, facial scrubs. Make sure you guys go check it out. And that will be the end of today's video. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, comment. Hit that bell so you can know every time I post a new video. It's the Gear Pretty and Pink. I'll be back next Monday with another video for you guys. Love you.